Welcome everybody! Health is in the kitchen is back! Last time I showed you how to use the onions. Today I'm going to show you how to use ginger and potatoes. So let's proceed with a humble potato. So what are the properties of potatoes? It is high in potassium, it's high in vitamin C and B vitamins. So first, ladies, I know you are very particular about your outward appearance. Look no further than the potato. You don't have to spend expensive, uh, lots of money on expensive products for the dark circles under your eyes. No, let's watch and see. So I'm grating the potato and I will put it in, you can put it in a handkerchief or any cloth. And you know, the potato, is the water, the juice, I would say, of the potato is full of starch, which has lots of healing properties. And so I will put the grated potato in the cloth. Do not squeeze out the juice because that's where the healing properties are. And then you can form it into a ball, something like this. You can use a string or elastic band. And then, so simple. And then just put it on your eyes, over your eyes and relax. Take the time to relax while you treat your eyes. And you can just put it on your eyes, over your eyes like this for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes, one eye, 10 minutes, another eye. But if you want to make two at the same time and then put them both and relax and listen to beautiful, calming music, it will calm your soul and heal your dark circles at the same time. So easy, it's so inexpensive and so effective. So ladies, you can save lots of money don't buy those expensive products that's breaking the bank. Instead, use the humble potato. Next, we're going to do the potato poultice. Once again, I will grate the potato. Remember, the potato is full of phosphorus and when you put it on the infected part of the body, it will help draw out the toxins and the inflammation too. So the juice of the potato is very effective. So once again, I will put the potato, the grated potato on the kitchen towel. And once again, I will fold it to the front, to the, from the back to the front, both sides, and then Again, fold the sides in and it will look like a parcel. And as you can see, it's already wet because of the potato juice. And then again, I will put the wet side against, if it's a swollen ankle, a swollen knee, swollen hand, you will then cover it with the cling wrap so it doesn't soil your clothes and um, it will stay on the body and if possible you can bandage it so that it can stay on the body part. But this is very very effective. So once again the humble potato for any swollen parts of the body, specifically swollen ankle, swollen knees, swollen hands, it will, the phosphorus will help draw out the toxins and the inflammation in the parts of the body where you put. Remember, 
the wet side needs to go on the infected part and then the back side will go against the cellophane and of course you will cover it and given a little bit of time it will draw out the toxins and the inflammation and then it will bring the swelling down so immediately if you twist an ankle if your if your um, knee is swollen go for the humble potato grate it put it in the paper towel so inexpensive so easy and right in your kitchen next if you have inflammation in your finger usually it's under the nail or on the side of your nail you may have it may be inflamed and how do you know it's inflamed it's painful and of course it's red so that shows that there is inflammation so when we see that we usually call that cellulitis and cellulitis is inflammation in the cells and a good way to get rid of that they may be yellow and that is the infection which is pus right and it's usually very very painful and if you have that kind of sore finger in winter it's even worse because of the cold right so what would you do you do hydrotherapy what is hydrotherapy it's water healing with water right so here i have a bowl of very very hot water and i will put my finger of course the infected finger i'm just showing you what needs to be done as hot as you can handle and you will put your infected finger in the hot water for three minutes and after three minutes you will put that same finger in ice cold water preferably with ice cubes too for 30 seconds and you will repeat that three times you don't want to do it more than that you will exhaust the body right so you will put it in the very hot water as hot as you can handle and then you will put it for three minutes in the hot water as hot as you can handle and for 30 seconds in ice cold water three times after that you will wipe the finger and then you will put the potato poultice you will wrap it around the finger and with the cellophane and you will leave it on your finger for a couple of hours and you don't have to when you open the finger you will find you won't even have to prick the skin for the pus to come out it would have come out opened by itself that's how amazing our bodies are it heals itself and what happens with the hydrotherapy the the blood is rushing to the finger and healing starts taking place and of course the potato is so effective for cellulitis because when that happens to our finger it is called cellulitis and you want the blood to run to the infected area which um, for the white blood cells to attack and to cause healing in the finger so once again the humble potato potato juice is also good for gastrointestinal problems what does the potato juice do? It has compounds that helps to coat the lining of the stomach. So you can juice one to two potatoes and the juice of that, those potatoes you can drink half an hour before every meal. It is so effective. It will reduce the gastric acid in your stomach. So don't forget, this is so effective for, for gastrointestinal problems. Remember, gastrointestinal problems, it means that there's an excess of acid, a stomach acid. 
So juice the potatoes, use the juice of the potato, three to four tablespoons before a meal, half an hour before a meal, and it will coat the lining of your stomach. So when you do eat, you will not have any problems. Once again, thank you to the humble potato. Lastly, I would like to leave a Bible verse with you where God says in Jeremiah 30 verse 17, for I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds. Thus says the Lord. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And today, that's all from me. Health is in the kitchen.